Okay guys, welcome to Crash Course on Digital Electronics. Let's try to explain as many things as we can in about 10 minutes. So, uh, first of all, uh, probably you are in university and stuff, you will see and recognize this beast here. That's an NMOS transistor. So, and this is the characteristic uh, equation. I will not go through this. Uh, or the device and the physics itself because this is a digital design uh, course and right now we don't care about voltages and currents for us a transistor or NMOS trans we have two types of transistors we have an NMOS transistor and the PMOS transistor NMOS it's on when it receives a logic one at the input and what does, does it mean logic one this is uh, a, volt a voltage and there is a threshold in uh, this device uh, thing. So after the threshold is considered as a one, so it's open or below is closed. So around the threshold, we don't care. <laughs> so basically here, after we give, let's say one volt and this device conducts, so we have here an hypothetic one that goes through here an hypothetic zero and here it's the opposite so this and most if it receives any uh, zero uh, volts at the input then it's off and it doesn't conduct the opposite for pmos pmos uh, is generally on when there is a zero at the input so if we give zero volt this guy conducts if you give a one then it doesn't. It's like that's not in the circuit, it's disconnected. It's like no wire. So all to do, uh, first thing that we can do now that we know PMOS and NMOS is the easiest example of a gate, that's the inverter. The inverter is uh, a PMOS and NMOS at the bottom. And this is like an example, if we have zero, at the input, then this one will be disconnected, this NMOS, whereas the one that's VDD, the maximum voltage, will propagate at the output, so through this uh, PMOS. Uh, the opposite is through if we put a, a one here, if it, there is a one, let's say an hypothetic one, and then the PMOS will be disconnected, as we saw here, and the NMOS will uh, connect so it will pull down the output uh, to zero so this is a pull up network this is the pull down network and uh, this the same is true for whatever type of logic of CMOS logic uh, I show here an example this is the easiest uh, example that of uh, an end uh, gate so we have the pull up network and the pull down network the pull up network has only pmos transistor and the pull down network as nmos and now you can see here that whatever pmos we put in parallel we put nmos in series this is the same is true for whatever type of uh, function that you, you want to build with those circuits so in this case we have two inputs let's say a and b those two means that they are connected. The same is true for B, hypothetically. Now I just label the wires the, out of simplicity. And now we examine, this is the truth table that we want to represent. Let's take, for instance, this example right here. So A is equal to one and B is equal to zero. So what ends up happening that this B that's down below does not connect so it's disconnected so there is no way the current to go through the disconnected circuit so it's like that they doesn't exist uh, so the pull down network uh, disconnects from the ground and uh, what about the pull up so a was equal to one so this uh, pmos is disconnected it's like it does not exist here but this one connects so we have a one that propagates at the output and as you can see the result here uh, is also one so this is correct you can try all the other examples on your own 
And this is just an example of a logic gate. This is an AND gate, but if you put an AND gate plus an inverter, you get the AND gate. And uh, you can uh, do whatever type of logic uh, this way. You can have OR gates, uh, my through, through table here, uh, XOR gates, XOR gates, and whatever else. So now a little rant about what is uh, CMOS technology, why do we use it, what are the other relevant type of logics that are used in the industry. So CMOS technology uh, is by far the most widespread. And this is because we have both pull up and pull down network that can kind of balance uh, each other. So it's uh, way more reliable. Uh, than other types of technology and uh, yeah other notable mentions are uh, pass transistor logic for instance uh, this is uh, generally used when you have a lot of uh, constraints in terms of gates but uh, if you use this type of logic you need to be very careful about uh, actual voltages and currents because the inputs are not actively driven that's why it's called fast transistor uh, logic and uh, you need to be concerned about uh, propagating uh, the signal because signal gets lost on the way and you need to do way more simulations about temperature and uh, other things so generally uh, this is very good uh, in uh, certain types of scenarios when your physical uh, area is uh, very limited and um, something that is mostly uh, like mostly analog uh, circuit designers deal with and another type of logic that's worth mentioning is uh, differential uh, logic and this is as uh, dynamic uh, uh, logic sorry that this uh, type of logic as uh, like like a clock signal uh, so it's not passive it kind of retains there is a bit of memory uh, built into into this logic and there are a lot of uh, nasty thing that uh, can happen, a lot of uh, uh, side effects uh, for this uh, type of logic. You can do some computation and some memory uh, inside, it's very fast. And generally it is used uh, in uh, very fast uh, circuits or uh, circuits that you know are gonna toggle, for instance PLL. Uh, for other types of logic, I don't know, it's mostly uh, research and uh, not uh, not so much used like by far 99.9% .9 of the logic is CMOS and it, the beauty of it is that the signal gets restored and uh, you just uh, use it a lot of CAD tools are used and optimized for it uh, there are other types of logics that for instance differential logic sometimes is using cryptography uh, for instance, uh, to prevent side uh, uh, power attack. So basically you measure how much is the power consumption of the circuit. And from the power trace, you can understand, for instance, what is a key, uh, what is a zero, what is a one, based on uh, uh, power trace analysis. Whereas with differential type of logic, where you compute uh, the positive and the negative, at the same time you don't have this type of effects because you measure both the the scenario and this comes with uh, a lot of problems a larger area uh, but more stable signal and um, uh, you a lot of routing uh, way more routing uh, compared to cmos technology uh, so probably that's the end of the rant thanks a lot for sticking around and give me feedback uh, please on uh, on the video lecture if you if you want to see more uh, comments if you want me to cover some some topic i am always open and uh, yeah you can actually send me an email uh, at uh, uh, to libriu at uh, gmail uh, dot com and i will be very happy to address whatever question or request I would love to interact with you. Having said that, uh, see you next time.